Hello, I'm Miss Miller and today we'll be talking about classifying and sorting out 3D figures. So let's go ahead and start out with our basics. Most of us would know our 2D shapes, right? So some examples of our 2D shapes would be a square, a triangle, a rectangle, a circle, an oval, a diamond, there's so many more 2D shapes that we could list. But for the sake of this lesson, we're just going to go through the first few 2D shapes. Now we're going to take our 2D shapes and we're going to expand our knowledge. And we are going to go over 3D shapes. So a 3D shape could be anything tangible. Um, as long as it's not a flat surface, that would be considered a 2D shape. Um, as long as it's not thin as paper, it's a 2D shape, or a 3D shape. So, some examples of the 3D shapes are a cube, a triangular prism, a square pyramid, a triangular pyramid, a rectangular prism, a cone, a cylinder, a sphere, those are just a few 3D shapes that we're going to be going over today. So if you notice, I gave you a worksheet that has a list of 3D shapes and their properties. And we're going to be going over those today. And also, I gave y'all a Cornell note sheet. And on this sheet, I want y'all to draw the 3D shape that I'm going to be presenting today. So. Let's start out with the very first one, a cube. Now, remember how I was saying we're gonna expand our knowledge from the 2D shapes to the 3D shapes? Well, a cube has some 2D shapes on it. So, a cube, we're gonna start out with drawing a square on your paper. So, a square is our 2D shape, and we're going to take our 2D shape and make it into a cube. By doing this, we're going to draw another square, All right? In the top corner, you can draw it here, you can draw it here, you can draw it on the bottom corners. As long as it's kind of off-centered in one of the corners, that's fine. I also like to notice when you're starting to draw a cube, there's another uh, square right here. So that can kind of help you too. And then we're gonna take our two squares and we are going to connect them just like that. One, two, three, four, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and draw our 2D shape that we started out with here. Now I'm gonna use it to kind of help us fill in our properties for our cube. So, in our name, we're going to go ahead and write Q. Okay. Now, a face. So let's go ahead and cover what a face is. A face is any flat surface on our 3D shape. So, or you could say a face is a 2D shape on our 3D shape. So you notice on the cube, the only faces the cube has is a square. So let's go ahead and fill in and draw, grab a different color if you would like from the middle of the table. And we're going to go ahead and color in one of the faces on our cube. So there's our face on our cube, and we're going to go ahead and count how many of these square faces are on our cube. So there's one at the top, one at the bottom, one at the back, one at the front, and then two, one on each side. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six faces on our cube. So we're going to go ahead and fill that in in our faces spot. Now, we're going to go ahead and name our face, too. 
remember how I was saying earlier that our 2D shape can be used to make our 3D shape. So what would our 2D shape be that's making our 3D shape? A square. So we're going to go ahead and write that next to it, just like this, that our face is a square. Now some 3D shapes have multiple different faces. So let's take a triangular prism for an example, okay? In a triangular prism, or a triangular, yes, a triangular prism, we will notice that there is two different shapes. There is a triangle and there is a rectangle, okay? So in this case, you would have two of those shapes filled in here next to your number of faces. Now, don't be confused either. The number of faces will be the two shapes combined. So in this case, it would be one, two, three, four, five. So you would count the rectangles and the triangles in order to get your number of faces here. All right, so now let's go through edges. Now our edges are any of these parts that make our straight lines in our shape. Okay, so let's go ahead and count them in a cube. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve edges in our cube. Okay, so we'll go ahead and write that here. Now be careful because some shapes, some 3D shapes do not have edges. Let's take a sphere for example. We're going to go ahead and draw the circle and then a line through it to do our sphere. Now a sphere is just like a ball. We can roll the ball and it wouldn't stop until something was put out in front of it to stop it. That would help you to determine that there is no faces on this shape. Now we also have a cylinder. If you roll the cylinder on its side, it would go pretty far, just like a ball would. But if you sat it on its face, it would stay in one spot. So, but to look at edges, this shape doesn't have any edges. A circle doesn't have any edges. And that's what we got top and bottom. Here, remember I said it could roll? That would also determine that it doesn't have any edges. All right. So last thing we're gonna cover is vertices. Now, vertices on our shapes are anything that comes to a point. So if you were to take your 3D shape and you were to prick at these little corners in your 3D shape, they would be kind of pokey. Those are your edges. Um, any of the corners in your shape are your, excuse me, are your vertices. So we're gonna go ahead and count how many vertices our cube has. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices on our cube, okay? Now while y'all are trying to catch up and um, writing down the number of vertices and the number of edges and the names and drawing out your cube, or even writing out the definition of what a vertice is, what an edge is, what a face is, that will help you whenever we go further in this lesson. But while y'all are trying to catch up, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a real life example of a cube. So how many of y'all have ever played with a Rubik's cube? It's in the name, right? It's a cube. How about a box? Now, let's go even further. 
some boxes have different shapes. Some boxes can be like our rectangular prism. So, some boxes can be shaped like this. Some boxes can be shaped like our cube. Now, to determine whether or not our box would be a rectangular prism or a cube, we go ahead and look at the faces. In a rectangular prism, there's two different types of shapes or two different types of faces. One, a square, two, a rectangle, rectangular prism. In our cube, the only type of face we have is our square. So that's how we can determine the difference between those two. All right, so if you notice on your tables, y'all each have a 3D shape. What I want y'all to do is take your 3D shape, determine its name given the word bank at the bottom of your page, name how many faces it has, what kind of faces it has using our 2D shapes, the number of edges, and the number of vertices. Then I want you to give a real life example of what your 3D shape could be. Like mine, mine was a Rubik's cube or a box. And then when you're all done as a group, y'all will come up and present y'all's 3D shape to the class. And all the rest of the class will be listening and filling in their notes on that 3D shape. All right, so make sure your facts on your 3D shapes are good because you wanna make sure your classmates get good notes and you in turn get good notes as well. All right, so I'm gonna give y'all 10 minutes to work on it. On your mark, get set, go.